。好，第十条啦，又系做实验嘅题目咯。今次系有关于消化嘅实验。咁题目一开始咧就话俾我哋听啦。哺乳类动物原来咧喺我哋刚刚出世啦，同埋早期成长阶段咧，所能够产生嘅胆盐咧系好少嘅。咁而家我哋做嘅实验咧就系研究下一啲猪仔啦，嗱唔系成年猪啊，系乳猪嚟嘅咋。咁我哋将啲乳猪分成四组，大家都食同样嘅嘢，不过有啲猪仔咧就会多咗呢个胆汁嘅供应嘅。零點一五 percent、零點三、零點四五，咁咁啊明顯地啦，加咗零 percent， 即係冇加到俾佢嘅嗰一批豬仔呢，就係、是、對照實驗啦，係咪？然後成個實驗呢，就做十五日，就係睇下啲豬仔嘅體重有冇咩嘅變化，同埋再睇下喺佢哋嘅糞便入面嘅脂肪嘅含量係幾多。講到明係 dry way 就當然係將啲水分抽走晒去啦，係咪？咁 part A 啦就問我哋啦，膽鹽呢？究竟係點樣幫助脂肪嘅消化㗎？咁我希望右手邊嗰幅圖啦，能夠喚起翻大家少少嘅記憶啦，就係、是、膽鹽咧喺個膽汁入面嘅角色，就係、是、去乳化個脂肪，係咪？第二個 concept 就係考下我哋機械式嘅消化係點樣幫助得到化學式嘅消化，所以喺書本亦都非常之直白嘅答案啦。膽鹽就係乳化咗脂肪，成為細粒嘅油點滴，從而增加咗油點滴嘅表面面積。就俾我哋嘅脂肪酶咧去消化咗佢，所以答案同书直头系一模一样。咁所以有啲题目系真系有温书咧就识噶啦，只系争在个字眼啫。我哋要用嘅系 emulsify 乳化，唔系拆解，唔系消化，而系乳化。我哋唔会用 break down， 我哋唔会用 digest 嘅。跟住我哋 part B 就想问翻我哋咧，喺成个实验入面，越系多嘅胆汁供应咧，对于啲猪仔嘅脂肪消化咧。有啲咩嘅功效、哦？跟住解釋嘅答案，咁你知道啦，一定要用下數據啦，冇得唔用啦，係咪？咁第一樣要考我哋呢，其實就係講緊冇被消化到嘅脂肪，其實係會喺我哋嘅糞便被排遺出嚟嘅，係一個 e j e c t i o n 嚟嘅。咁啊，因為不能夠被消化嘅脂肪係不能夠被吸收嘅，所以咪排咗出嚟囉。跟住啦，就去到嗰個技巧啦，就係、是、運用數據解釋答案啦。我哋就要觀察下啦，越係多咗嘅膽汁供應呢。對於啲豬仔嘅屎入面，佢哋嗰啲脂肪嘅含量究竟係多咗定少咗啦？咁我哋發現係越嚟越少嘅喎，咁自不然就會知得到啦。越係多嘅膽汁供應，個糞便入面嘅脂肪含量亦都越嚟越少，亦都意味住咧佢嘅消化係消化得越嚟越好啦。Increase the digestion of the fat。咁跟住啦，去到 Part C 呢，就去到當我哋做呢個實驗嘅時候啦，有冇一啲少少嘅技巧我哋要留意呢？我哋先睇返個 table 先，咁我就睇返第一日有個最原先嘅重量，咁我哋先睇返個 table 啦。我哋首先呢，就量度第一日啲豬仔嘅原先嘅重量，再量度啊十五日之後佢哋最後嘅重量，跟住有個相減啊，計下啲百分比啊，咁我哋就會知道啲豬仔呢，究竟係輕咗定重咗啦。而 Part C 咧，其實佢係問緊，除咗量度。當初嘅重量同埋十五日之後佢嘅終極重量之外，同一時間呢，原來喺呢十五日入面，我哋都要好好咁監控住啲豬仔嘅重量㗎喎。點解呀？豬仔嘅重量究竟係一個咩嘅數據呢？原來 Part C 去考我哋嘅係有關於變數。係一個科學探究入面嘅 variables。咁首先我哋要知道啦，一隻豬仔越能夠有效咁消化啲脂肪，佢就應該越係吸收到多啲嘅脂肪，咁重量自不然就係上升啦。所以喺佢嘅飲食入面多唔多膽汁呢？呢、这個就係 independent variable 自變量，係我哋想去研究嘅嘢。而去到豬仔嘅重量啦，就係、是、因變量，係因為只豬仔消化啲脂肪消化得好好，定係消化得唔好？而顯身出嚟嘅一個現象，呢、这個就係因變量 （dependent variable） 啦。所以 C part 就係想講啦，除咗量度原本嘅重量同埋終極重量之外，我哋日日都度下只乳豬仔有幾重呢？就係、是、想知道究竟我哋加咗膽汁俾佢之後，對於只豬仔嘅成長有冇咩嘅影響啦？又或者啦，對於只豬仔吸收脂肪嘅有效率又有幾高啦？咁除咗知道隻豬仔食多咗膽汁啦，嗯，對佢消化好咗或者唔好之外，喎。另外一個原因就係第一句説話啦。究竟隻豬仔呢？我哋俾多咗膽汁佢之後呢，會唔會搞到佢病鬼咗㗎？例如啦，我哋將其中一組嘅豬仔嘅重量，每一日咁樣去睇，每一日咁樣去量度，然後啦，我哋發現突然之間有幾日呢，啲豬仔嘅體重突然下降喎、哦，死啦！佢哋係咪病咗啊？
。咁如果佢哋病咗嘅话啦。我哋得出嘅实验结果咪唔准确囉。我期望你哋都係隻健康嘅猪仔嚟㗎嘛，咁无啦啦隻猪仔病咗，而令到佢嘅体重下降咗，咁我咪唔知道究竟佢嘅体重下降，体重上升得冇咁劲，究竟係个胆汁冇用啊，定还是佢自己本身真係病咗，搞到佢瘦咗啊？所以点解我哋每一日都要监控住隻猪仔嘅重量啦？跟住去到 part D 呢，就要我哋俾一个建议啦，就係、是、讲一个体外进行嘅实验方法，而係能够直接量度得到一个脂肪嘅消化嘅。即係话今次我哋唔係话将啲胆汁摆落只猪仔嗰树，跟住呢再抽取嗰啲粪便。会问啦，喂，两 s 抽取粪便咪就系体外囉。」而家我哋讲緊嘅呢，係不牵涉任何生物。都已經做到呢個結果，就唔係話將啲嘢擺只豬仔身體入面，跟住啊唔該你排返出嚟啦，跟住我再睇。咁所以呢條題目呢，原來考緊我哋有關於脂肪嘅成分啊，甘油三脂究竟係點整嘅呢？我原來就有甘油同埋脂肪酸，而當中啦，我哋又可以去諗下如何直接量度。脂肪嘅消化呢，咁所以啦，我哋又要去諗下，我哋係從何得知一個化學反應嘅速度有幾快或者有幾慢呢？我哋有兩大個導向，第一個導向就係受質嘅消失，因為俾你用咗佢啊嘛，脂肪俾你消化咗啊嘛。第二啦，就係產物嘅出現啦，消化咗個脂肪出現咗啲咩呀？甘油囉，脂肪酸囉，而脂肪酸就係我哋嘅目標啦。先，我哋預備一兜混合物，入面有脂肪酶、有膽鹽，亦都有脂肪。但係最重要嘅就係我哋要加啲鹼性嘅嘢落去，因為脂肪酶係一個鹼性嘅地方，先係能夠做得最好嘅。然後啦，容許個反應去發生嘅時候，我哋觀察緊嘅就係酸鹼值嘅變化。由於今次要你 suggest 一個 method， 所以你要話俾我聽，你會點樣做？我會用一個 pH meter 啦。pH sensor 啦 ，pH indicator 啦，點樣都好，就量度呢一兜混合物嘅酸鹼值嘅變化。而我哋會發現啦，如果酸鹼值跌得越快，就證明消化脂肪亦都越快。點解我會知啊？係因為脂肪酸係酸性噶嘛。當佢拆解脂肪得越快，能夠產生脂肪酸嘅速度亦都會越快。所以整個 mixture 佢嘅 pH value 呢就會傾向酸性，就向下跌啦。好，跟住啦就去到第十條嘅一點出發啦。今次嘅題目呢，就由脂肪消化出發嘅，咁當中問咗膽汁啊嘛，係咪？咁自不然啊就考緊我哋機械式嘅消化。而成條題目咧其實都係做緊實驗，咁所以啦都有科學探究嘅概念嘅。咁啊先去睇返啦機械式消化。咁啊，有啲咩嘅重要性啦？今次呢，就係讲乳化，下次啦，继续问咯嘴著啦，喺我哋个胃嘅搅动啦，甚至乎一啲肠状嘅蠕动啦，佢哋都系机械式消化嚟㗎嘛？啊，佢有几重要呢？大家有溫书嘅，嚟嚟去去都系嗰啲增加表面面积，俾啲酶呢去、呃、消化个嘢食，进行呢个化学式嘅消化。咁所以啊，由机械消化，自不然下一次就会问你化学消化。就問下啲酶囉、啊，各自嘅酶啦，究竟佢邊度做嘢嘅呢？佢哋嘅最適當嘅 pH 啦，酸鹼值又係幾多呢？幾高或者幾低呢？幾酸幾鹼呢？咁當然啦，經過化學式消化呢，就能夠將嗰個嘢食，能夠將佢變成佢嘅組成部分啦。氨基酸啦，葡萄糖啦，或者脂肪酸啦，呢個都係我哋要學嘅嘢嚟嘅。今次問脂肪啫，下次問下碳水化合物同埋蛋白質。预咗㗎啦，而今次嘅科学探究呢个重点呢，就唔系嗰个 control set up 咯，而系 variables 唔同嘅变数。呢个题目呢，就冇考晒咁多个 variables 嘅，咁但係啦，我哋要知道啦，下次咪会问下控制变量啦、因变量啦、自变量啦。咁之前两场都拍咗段片呢，就有关于呢一堆嘅 variables 嘅，咁啊又留意返 description 呢，睇返段片咯噃。So in question ten is about the experiment of fat digestion. And it's stated that in the question, in mammals, the production of bile salt is very limited at birth and during early development stages. So that's why our target is the piglet, not an adult pig, but the piglet. And we are providing the bile supplement to the piglet. So there are four groups of the piglets were fitted with the same diet, controlled variable, except 
that the bile was added to the diet in proportion of 0, 0 0.15, 30, and 45 for 15 days. So you can see that for the group of the piglet, they receive NO no bowel supplementation. So this group is the control setup. So according to the table, we are measuring the initial body weight and the final body weight on date 15. Also, we are measuring the average draw weight of fat in the feces. And for part A, it is a very straightforward question. How do bowel salts help with the fat digestion? So in this diagram, I hope you it can recall your memory about the bowel salt role in the bowel juice. So the emulsification is a type of physical digestion of the fat to facilitate the chemical digestion. So the, for the bowel salt, it can emulsify the lipids into small droplets and it can increase the surface area of the lipids for the lipase to add on. So you can see that the answer is exactly the same in the textbook. But one thing I would like to remind is the verb, the action verb, emulsify, not digest, not break down. But we use the terms emulsify, very specific one. So for part B, what was the effect of bowel supplementation on fat digestion in the above investigation? So you see that you need to use the data from the experiment to explain your answer. In this question, we are checking the concept about the undigested fat will be ejected in the feces because the undigested fat will not be absorbed. And for the critical skills, we need to analyze the data to observe the change of the average dry weight of the fat in the feces. That means we need to know the change of the fat content in the feces. You can see that as the bowel supplementation increases, the fat content of the feces decreases. And the reason is more and more fat can be digested. It means that more fat can be digested. For part C, suggest why it is important to monitor the body weight of the piglets in the investigation. So from the table, you can see that we have the initial body weight and we have the final body weight. The point is that apart from measuring the initial weight and the final weight, in between these 15 days, we need to keep monitoring the body weight of the pigness. But what's for? What's the importance of doing this measurement? So for passy critical concept is checking the variables in the investigation. Basic idea is that if the pigless, they can digest fat effectively, they can absorb more fat. So the bowel level in the diet is the independent variables which we are going to study. And for the body weight of the piglets, is the dependent variables, which is something we are going to measure. And the body weight of the piglets, it depends on the bowel level in the diet. So the very straightforward answer is to indicate the effectiveness of the bowel supplementation on promoting pig's growth or the effectiveness of fat absorption. It's one of the importance. And for the other idea, is to monitor that do the piglets, some of them, they get sick during the experiment. The concept is that what if we observe a particular group of the piglets, their body weight drops a lot, maybe because they get sick. So that's why they become slimmer and slimmer. They have no appetite, so their body weight will drop a bit. So we need to monitor their body weight to face any challenge by others. And for part D, suggest an in vitro experimental method that allow a direct measurement of the digestion of fat in the laboratory. So you need to tell me how can you do it? And it is an in vitro experimental method. That means it's different from the original method. Now we introduce some bio supplementation to the diet of the piglets and then examine the feces they ingest. So they are something inside the body we cannot observe in the test tube. So what if I would like to observe, I would like to do the measurement in the test tube directly, how can I do so? Surprisingly, this question is checking the building block of the triglyceride molecule. Building block, it is the fatty acid and the glycerol. But what's for? Any insights from this building block idea? So we have the second concept. 
how can we determine the reaction rate? There are two aspects. One direction is about the disappearance of the lipids because we digest them. And for the second idea is the appearance of the product because we digest the triglyceride into fatty acid and glycerol and fatty acid is our main target. The idea is that we need to prepare an alkaline mixture of lipids, bile salts and oil. Why do we need to prepare the alkaline mixture? Because the lipids, they can work better in the alkaline medium. And then we use the pH meter to measure the change in the pH of the mixture. Or you can use the pH indicator or the data logger with the pH sensor. You need to tell me what to do because it asks you to suggest a method. And what is the expected result? The result is that the faster the drop in the pH of the mixture, the faster the digestion of the fat. The question is that why will the pH of the mixture drop? Because there are fatty acids produced. And by the name, you know that fatty acids, they are acidic. So it will lower the pH value. So what if the fat digestion is faster? So we can produce a lot of fatty acid and make the whole mixture pH dropping. So for question 10, the curricular mapping, it starts from the fat digestion, involves the physical digestion. And for this question, it's based on the experiment. So that's why we also check the concept of scientific investigation. So for the physical digestion, so we need to know the importance of physical digestion. Apart from the emulsification, so we have the chewing, churning, and the peristalsis. So we need to point out what is the importance of it. So of course, if you do some revision, at least you can recall that increase the surface area for the MSI add on the food, blah, blah, blah. That's something important you need to recall. And not only for the physical digestion, we can also ask you the chemical digestion. How do the enzymes work? What is the optimum temperature, optimum pH for the digestive enzymes to work on? After the chemical digestion, so the food will be broken down from compressed form to simple form. So you need to recall the building blocks of the certain food substance. For example, starch is broken down into glucose. For the proteins, they are broken down into amino acids, so that's something you need to remember. And for the scientific investigation, this time it doesn't ask you about the control setup. It asks you about the variables. Of course, it doesn't ask you all the variables, but you bring me next time, no matter for the long question or for the MC, it will, it will ask you other variables, independent variables, dependent variables, and the control variables. What are the, it is the crucial part for the scientific investigations.